most newer vehicles manufactured today will have some type of an anti-theft system. An anti-theft system is a device installed by the manufacturer to prevent the vehicle from being started without an ignition key. Lock is an anti-theft system designed to prevent the vehicle from starting without also turning the key and the ignition switch at the same time. To install any remote starter device on a vehicle equipped with the GM Pass Lock system, you must also install a code learning bypass. Installing a bypass module does not take away from the normal operation of the vehicle and will not disable the anti-theft system. For bypassing the PathLock system, we will be using part number 791. This is available at most retailers where the remote starter was purchased, or simply order online at www.directwholesale.net. Step 1. Remove the dash panel and the cover that surrounds the steering wheel column. Some vehicles may have the key switch located on a dash surface. In this case, the radio and the trim plate surrounding the radio may need to be removed to access the pass lock wires. Step 2. Locate the pass lock wires that directly exit the ignition key switch. Step 3. Determining the correct pass lock wires. The pass lock wires are easily identifiable in color and will always be in a group of three wires total. Please refer to the 791 manual or website information pertaining to the correct colors for your vehicle. There are only two wires we need to connect to on the pass lock system. The first is the pass lock ground. The second is the pass lock signal or pass lock feed wire. The pass lock ground wire will test and show a negative ground at all times, no matter what position the key switch is in. This wire is almost always black in color or sometimes orange with a black stripe. The pass lock feed or pass lock signal wire can easily be tested with a voltmeter. This wire will show between one and six volts when the key is in the on and sometimes start position. This wire is almost always yellow in color. Step 4. Connecting the yellow wire from the 791 bypass. First, strip back one quarter to one half inch of the insulation that surrounds the pass lock signal wire with a pair of wire strippers or the supplied razor knife. Next, insert the test probe into the copper portion of the wire, creating an opening for the wire from the 791 bypass to enter through. Insert the stripped back portion of the yellow wire on the 791 bypass into the hole made on the pass lock signal wire. Then wrap the stripped back portion of the yellow wire from the 791 around the bare section on the pass lock signal wire until it is wound tight. Finally, take the exposed wires and secure with the provided wire ties included in the installation kit. Step five, connecting the orange wire from the 791 bypass. The orange wire from the 791 bypass module will connect directly to the pass lock ground wire. Follow the same procedures as shown in making the connections for the pass lock signal wire. Step six, locate the large ignition wires from the ignition switch harness. 
You may also make your connections at the ignition wires on the remote starter control module if you've already completed that portion of the install. Step 7. The red wire will attach to the constant power wire that supplies current for the vehicle's ignition system. This wire will always test 12 volt positive at all positions on the key switch. On GM vehicles, this wire is almost always red in color. Follow the same procedures for making the connection to this wire. Step 8. Connecting the white ignition wire from the 791 bypass. The white wire on the 791 bypass will attach to the ignition wire that supplies 12 volt positive in the on, start, and run positions on the key switch. This wire will almost always be peak in color. If your vehicle is equipped with the PassLock 1 anti-theft system, there is one additional wire we need to install. This wire is referred to as the bulb check or wake up wire for the vehicle's computer system. This wire will always be black in color and can be found at the ignition switch harness. The bulb check wire when tested will always show a negative ground while cranking or starting the vehicle only. Attach the violet or purple wire from the 791 bypass directly to the vehicle's bulb check wire. Step 11. Learning the pass lock resistance. First, plug the 8-pin wire harness directly into the male header on the 791 control module. Start the vehicle with the ignition key. Let it run approximately 2 minutes before shutting back off. At this time, if you have completed the remote starter portion of your install, you may now test the 791 to ensure it is working properly. Start the vehicle with the remote transmitter. Let the vehicle run for at least one minute. Visually inspect the dash to ensure no security lights or anti-theft lights are flashing. If a security light is flashing, or the vehicle starts and runs, then dies a few seconds later, follow the procedure in the back of the 791 manual for erasing memory. When the memory has been erased, you must relearn the pass lock resistance. It's VAT or pass key. This system will have a resistor pill in the key. This type of anti-theft system will generally be found on 1985 to current General Motor vehicles. To install the Model 791 to a VATS or passkey system, locate two wires in an orange or sometimes black vinyl tubing coming down from the ignition switch. This tube will contain two white 22 gauge wires or one white wire and one purple wire. You will have to make the following five connections to complete the bypass installation. First, connect the yellow wire from the 791 bypass to the white wire in the VATS tubing that shows voltage while the ignition switch is in the on or run position. Second, connect the orange wire from the 791 bypass module to the other white wire or the purple wire in the VATS tubing. Third, connect the red wire from the 791 bypass to a 12 volt constant source. Fourth, connect the white wire from the 791 bypass module to the vehicle's ignition wire or the large white wire on the remote starter connected to the pink ignition wire on the vehicle. Fifth, connect the blue wire to the white wire labeled ignition negative, the purple, green, and yellow with black straight wires on the 791 bypass modules are not used and should be taped up so no accidental shortage will occur. Put the key in the ignition and start the vehicle. Wait until the LED light on the 791 goes out. Turn off the vehicle and the system has learned the resistor value. For further information, refer to the 791 instruction manual or our website for information regarding your vehicle's wire colors and location.
The final anti-theft system is called transponder. This system uses a radio frequency tube hidden from the plastic or rubber portion of the key. Transponder systems are available on most vehicles manufactured from 1996 to current model years and is used by most vehicle manufacturers. Follow the next steps to install the 791 transponder bypass module. First, you must have a spare transponder key that will start your vehicle. You will need to insert the spare key inside the 791 bypass module. The wiring loop needs to be positioned around the ignition switch as close to the keyhole as possible. Make the following connections to complete the installation of the 791 module. Connect the red wire from the 791 bypass module to a constant 12 volt source in the vehicle. Next, connect the blue wire to the white wire labeled ignition negative. Attach the orange wire to a good chassis ground. All other wires on the 791 bypass module are not used and should be taped up so no accidental shorting will occur. To complete the installation, plug the wire loop into the white plug on the 791 module. We urge you to visit our website for more information on your anti-theft system or information regarding your wiring and your vehicle.